Hey everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome in. This video is part two of the Shop Goodwill 17 pound costume jewelry mystery lot. So the show and sell will begin where I left off. So continuing on, I was up to number seven and we'll start off with this. First off, I have this beautiful seed bead necklace that has, I guess um, they painted those dyed chips, I mean the chips, silver. The seed beads are clear, black, and silver. You have very ornate bead caps. Well, they're polished. And you even have the beads and it has a hook style closure multiple strands this one here has a drop of nine and a half inches so it's a um 19 inch necklace and this will be 7a 7b is this one on top let's um bring that over this one here oh these are tiny seed beads look at that color it's like bronze and you have purples. You also have these beads as well as faceted blue. They look almost like bicones. Oh, the center is a bicone, yeah. Multiple strands. This one has a jewelry tag. This says, you recognize that leaf, right? That is Coldwater Creek right there has a brass tone lobster claw clasp and the polished end caps this one is a bit longer it's 12 and a half inches in drop making this a 25 inch necklace so this one here will be 7b so you have let's see i want to make sure you can see everything 7A, 7B. Okay. Next up, I found this set. In fact, these bracelets were looped in together with the necklace. So that was very nice of them to, um, to combine the two. So we have this really nice red acrylic bead necklace with Let's see, two sizes, three sizes, three sizes of red acrylic beads. And then you even have the um, pink bead spacers. That's how it's finished off. That lobster claw needs a really good wipe. Uh, the drop on this is 12 and a half inches, making it a 25 inch necklace. And if you notice, these are stretch bracelets and they are brand new. Look how white that elastic is. I don't think they've ever been worn. And this one here is actually the same size as that bead. And this one is the same size as that larger bead. So this set comes with two stretch bracelets and the acrylic bead necklace and this one here the set will be item number eight next up i found another set these are beautiful faceted glass beads uh, in black and it's a y necklace in like a dark silver tone almost gunmetal it has a lobster claw closure and there's a jewelry tag that I did know of, but I don't recall what that is offhand. A Y necklace. The drop up to where the Y begins is 12 inches. So it's 24 inches. And um, you can use any one of these lengths to shorten it if need be. This here portion is, um, let's see, five and a half inches long 
And then you have the matching set of earrings, cluster earrings, really sweet uh, hook earrings. They look to be brand new. And the earrings are about two and a half inches high. So you have this really nice set. Branded. Mm, can't remember who that is, though. And this set will be item number nine. Okay, next up. You know what? I'm going to show you some things, um, part of what's in the craft lot. And um, craft lot items individually are a dollar each. But like I said, whatever doesn't sell individually will be placed in the bag at the end of the uh, unbagging. So, for instance, this one here, that's a fun bracelet. It's a stretch. It is looks brand new. So that's an, that's an item. That's a craft item. This one, look at the rosettes in the blue acrylic. So pretty. And then you have these um, silver tone bead rondelles. There's no stretch on this. So this one has to be restrung. But components are great. I always tell my crafters who do buy craft lot items or even craft lots to send me before and after photos. And that way I can feature them in my videos and show what creative um, people there are out there who revamp items or even revitalize items. Uh, this one here is a lava bead bracelet. It has this really odd shark at the end but you know that elastic is so thin it does stretch but and it's wearable this one here is beautiful glass beads it does have a teal color ribbon the stretch is non-existent but the components are great um this next one is a faux leather magnetic bracelet very clean and it's holding this hammered um heart the um the back row has this enamel bangle white on the inside this one here is also ivory in tone needs a good wipe but this one is a rounder um rounded outside I meant this one here this one's nice I mean it has that stretch like the Spidel watches of days gone by but when I look at it you see these panels of uh, silver tone and black enamel some of the black enamel ones are missing enamel no I guess it's from rubbing but the stretch is excellent on this so we have that, this one here. Look at these components. They're bars with um, the rhinestones. And then they're separated by these uh, black beads. This is, a, this is a nice, interesting stretch bracelet, but there's no stretch left. So we have that one. And then the last one, this is so pretty. Look at that. And um, all the rhinestones seem to be intact on those uh, little floral panels. But the stretch is bad. There's no stretch left. So yeah, if you're interested in any of these, I guess um, you can take a screenshot. There's 10 items here, so we can count from, you know, or just say row one, row two, and whichever number item you may like. So, huh, you know what? Maybe I should make it easy for you. Yeah. This will be row 10. This will be row 11. And then it will be A, B, C, D, 
and E. Okay. All right. Moving on. Okay, next up, group number 12, A through D. These are acrylic bead necklaces. The first one looks like so. Faux pearls. These are blue if you can see in the, let's see, yeah. You can tell they're blue. Then you have this swirly blue. You have rondelles. You have a lobster claw clasp. The extender has a faux pearl at the end. This one here, 12A is eight and a half inches in drop, making it a 17 inch necklace. And the extender can add three inches to that. So we have that one, 12A. 12B is brown and black beads. This one has a lobster claw as well. This one has the same drop, eight and a half. Which makes that also a 17 inch necklace. So that's um, 12B. 12C, a little shorter, seven and a half inch drop. This one has matte gold tone beads and then you have shades of green and brown and red. And the bottom is actually a tiger's eye bead. This one here is finished off like so with the long extender and a nice green bead at the end of that. And like I said, this drop is um, seven and a half inches, making it 15 inches. And you can add three inches to that using the extender. 12C, 12D, fun, vibrant, purple, faceted beads with um, rondelles that have uh, rhinestones on them. The beads are graduated in size. This one here also has a seven and a half inch drop. And um, the extender is also three inches. So you have a 15 inch up to an 18 inch necklace with this one. Silver tone hardware. This one's very, very shiny due to the facets on the, um, on the beads. And there you can see on the bottom, the rondelles that have the rhinestones on them. And that one is 12D. So next up, I told you there were many pairs of earrings. I am making a earring lot. This here lot contains 50 pairs of earrings. So here I'm going to, I'm holding the camera this time. Um, not gonna go through everything, but just so you can see what you get in this 50 pair lot is lots of colorful hoops, some vintage uh, clip-ons, really diverse. You get some modern, like a uh, faux tortoise shell you get chandelier earrings, you have glass, you have, well, these are cute. Um, hook earrings, you get fun Frankenstein hook earrings. These are beautiful. These are screw back earrings. You get some open work butterfly. You get these Southwestern style copper tone well more bronze i guess hook earrings these are tricolor okay these need to be polished you get some red metal looks like feathers you get like oh these look like pac-man <laughs> you get these uh chain uh hmm, hook earrings you get some really cute cowboy boots and cowboy no, cowgirl, cow, cowgirl earrings. You get these tiny ones. What are these? Wow. Okay, very pretty pastel rhinestones. You get these. Look at these little puppies. They're little puppies. So 
And then we bring you back up. Yeah, all this. So counting it all, it comes to 50. Okay, so for this 50 pairs of earring lot. Oh, look at these. I like these. Uh, this lot will be number 13. Okay, next up we have these two necklaces. Um, ooh, you may notice. Why she she uh, have different nail color? I basically record my videos in, um, I guess, segments. And then I piece it all together. So they're not necessarily filmed in a day. So, back to jewelry. This here, they're both made of polymer clay. And this one, I wanted to talk about because this is um, by Viva Beads, right there. And Viva Beads is a company that was opened in um, 2007, I believe in Illinois, by uh, two women. One is named Jill Manzera. She's a single mom of two. And the other lady is Lori Mot Motlowitz. And she is a mom of four girls. And these two moms set out to make a better life for themselves and their and their family so they discovered an existing artisan technique which is making beads out of polymer clay and that took their creativity uh to no end so they have been very popular and very successful ever since uh viva actually means um salute to life and uh, they use a unique um, technique called caning which means um, it's a 100% handmade process where they layer colors and shapes of polymer clay to create designs so each bead is then hand rolled baked and cooled and then strung to make jewelry. So this here is one and it's actually on a very strong elastic cord along with these silver tone bead spacers and um, possibly base metal. But look at this design. This one almost looks like a a snake print and then you have these and the black and blue ones really unique and um let's see this one here when i measure the drop without you know as is like that it's nine and a half inches so it's a 19 inch length necklace but you can wear it as a bracelet as well because of the stretch so this one here will be uh, 14. Well, this group will be 14. And uh, this one by Viva Beads will be 14A. The next one is also polymer clay beads. Beautiful, vivid. Look at these colors. They're like little capsules, primary colors. Oh, but then you do have like an aqua color here. Uh, blue and white, green and brown, red and brown maybe, or gold tone. It is on a brass, no, they have brass tone links in between. There is a barrel clasp, really unique. This one here is a little longer. It has a 13 inch drop. So it's a 26 inch necklace. Really pretty. Also polymer clay. This one here will be 
14B. Okay, moving on. Next up, we have these necklaces, uh, seed bead, glass beads. This group is going to be 15, A through F. So let us go over them. The first one, 15A. Look at these colors. Black seed beads along with multicolor glass beads. Very long. Infinity strand, 26 inches in drop making it a 52 inch length necklace. It's still going, 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 going. So this here is 15A. 15B and C are the same, well, length. Um, 29 and a half inches in drop, making them 59 inch infinity strands. Yeah, this doesn't have a clasp either. The first one, 15B, is a black seed bead with um, black, almost like bicones, as well as some um squares that are pointed on either side and then there are some silver tone rondelles that need a good polish right there so what did i say 59 inches oh, wow that's almost um it's almost 60 inches uh oh what did i do it it wasn't tangled okay getting there let me show you what this necklace looks like up close. Made a knot. Be right back. Okay, here you go. Here is this necklace. Yeah, those rondelles need polishing, cleaning. That one will be... 15B, 15C is the same length. It is uh, 29 and a half inches in drop, 59 inches in total, no clasp. This one here is made up of glass beads, as you can see, as well as uh, bicones and um, this has rondelles too. But these silver tone ones look a bit nicer than the ones on the black strand. So here you can see the components on this particular infinity strand. This one here is 15C. The next one, really pretty. I like this um, color, like a root beer has a nice glass pendant, and then you have glass strands of seed beads, bugle beads, and bicone-shaped glass beads. This one here has a lobster claw. Huh, you know what? I believe that should have a jump ring there like the way it is set up on this side. Okay. This one here has a seven and a half inch drop, making it 15 inches in length. But like I said, I'm gonna see if I find one in the bottom of the box. Um, and if there is one, I'll, I'll place it there. But I believe that's missing a jump ring. So this one here is 15D. Okay. Okay, when I stopped the video, I had to look um, in the bins that I sorted to find the jump ring, and it was there. So, there it is on the left. I, um, I just put it on. So that way, the lobster claw has the jump ring to attach to. And the one that it did have was is a little, you know, needs shaping. But 
Okay, it is fully intact now, and that is 15D. The next one, this one here, very special. Uh, it is a very long, well, it can be a necklace, but it's actually a bracelet, and um, it's made up of beautiful cobalt blue beads along with some brown ones and brass tone ones. This one here is 24 inches um, in drop if it were to be a necklace, but it's actually 48 inches long. And here it is. It is made by Me To We. And there is the iconic little um, mark uh, or I don't know, charm that would be there. Here you can see the beads. It is on a elastic cord. So that's why I said you can wear it as a bracelet because it is actually a bracelet. But let me tell you about uh, Me To We, actually. It is a socially conscious lifestyle brand that empowers people to make a difference. Um, that's why it's called Me To We. They sell lifestyle items. They provide leadership training. They have um, travel experiences. And it's founded by uh, two brothers, Craig and Mark Kielberger in 2008 and they are based in toronto canada these bracelets were designed by uh, lily singh and she promoted these bracelets uh to, and they they're called girl love rafikis as part of her campaign to end girl on girl hate so we have this one here and it will be 15 e and the last one is, um, is a strand that has these two beads on the end. So I'm going to call it a um, lariat. It is 29 inches in length, not including the two beads at the end. Now let me show you what this is composed of. Tiny little seed beads in black. And then you have the clear bugle beads. And that's also wrapped around the beads at the end making this design here is the actual strand and like i said ending ending in the two beads at the end so 29 inches measured across and that's 15 f Okay, next group, bracelets. The group is 16A through D. Uh, 16A is a stretch bracelet. And the stretch is really good. It's made up of, let's see, let's take a look at this. Lapis, sodalite, perhaps, yeah. Tiger's eye, maybe some turquoise, definitely some quartz, and it's held together by this medallion with the flower in the middle. I do see some, like, maybe gold wash rubbed off slightly. And then on, on the opposite side, it even has a floral design. Wait, there's something, it says something there. Let me grab the magnifier. WK925 China. Okay, let's grab the magnet. Okay, it's not attracting, but you know what? Nonetheless, I'm not even going to test it. I'll just say 16A, you get all these nice semi-precious uh, beads and chips. 16B, this is really nice. It is beautiful AB coated like champagne tone, bugle beads along with metal 
metal tone beads on either side. It is very pliable. You can bend it and adjust it right now as is. I believe it is a seven and a half on the um, bracelet mandrel. So we have this. It's in a um, brass tone setting and no no names or brands or stamps of any kind found but i like that i like this one uh 16b the next one 16c is this wonderful uh faux tortoiseshell open cuff and this is by j crew as you can see there you see j crew very wide this one here measures in at seven and three quarters but i'm sure you can um make it smaller if you maybe slowly um gently heat up this acrylic and bend it to make it smaller so here we have 16c the next one's really really nice 16d i found this one it is you have chips of tiger's eye. You have beautiful red, orange, yellow, gold tones, gunmetal tones, beads all around. And there's the construction on the inside. The best part is this, the closure is magnetic. nice weight to it beautifully constructed i love i like seed beads um certain ones and this one here very unique like i said there's only a, a few spots that have the chips attached to like strings of seed beads so this one here is 16 d and this measures in at seven and a half. Okay, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go back to uh, necklaces. There's a lot of necklaces in this grab bag. Okay, next up I have a very long necklace, and I'm gonna show it by itself. It's um beautiful cobalt blue glass, um like flat oval beads along with some brown ones, and then you have these beautiful donuts. You have rondelles, you have these brass tone, really pretty um, spacers. And it's all held up by four seed bead strands. You also have a hook closure like so. Hey, wait a minute. It goes like that. <laughs> and there's a jewelry tag that I do not recognize. Um, let me show that to you right there. So if you know what that is, let me know in the comments. But I have to say, I do like this necklace because number one, I love the color blue. I love the brown. And I do like the feel of seed beads on your neck. And I like glass. So this here necklace has a 16 and a half inch drop, making it um, 33 inches in total. And it is um, branded. So we have this one here, which will be number 17. More glass bead necklaces, but um, you know what? I have to say this craft lot is getting bigger glass components we got milk glass that needs some um, cleaning up you have you have a bunch of nice things in here and you know what i will go over the craft lot most likely in the last video so just want you to see how big it's um filling up okay next up i have this beautiful green glass bead seed bead necklace i don't see a clasp this is 
and infinity strand. Really nice, different shaped beads here. You even have a frosted one, you have cylinders, you have almond shape, you have round ones that have like a black um, lines going through them. Really very sweet. And I love the fact that it's glass, so it's nice and cold. The length on this, let's see, 19 and a half inches in drop. So it is a 39 inch infinity strand. So this one here will be, this one will be number 18. How's that? This next one, you know what? It is on a elastic cord. I see it's overstretched. I'm going to offer this for its components because it's really made up of nice, different components that can be repurposed. I mean, if you look at it, it glass beads, even foil ones. You have these square ones. You have polished round ones. You have this one with the foil inside. You even have this. This actually feels like, um, I don't know, clay perhaps. Then you got some greens. You even have this. This is a polymer. You have glass bicones. You have more of the, I guess they're trying to emulate like a modern African trading beads or something. You even have an orange heart. Look at this one with the swirls. Really a large array of different style, different colors, beads that can be absolutely repurposed. Um, just fun, fun, vivid colors. So this one here uh, for the components, I will offer this as number 19. Okay, more bracelets. This one here will be group number 20, A through F. Let's go over these. This one here, look at it. It is one of those kind that you slide. There is a name for these type of bracelets. I don't recall offhand, but look at this. It It is comprised of hematite. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's hematite uh, beads. And then you have pink and white beads that are covered with the same color rhinestone. So you have clear ones on the white beads, pink ones on the pink beads. And look, yeah, it's magnetic. So this here, by pulling the strings, you can make it smaller. By releasing them, you can make it larger. We have this beautiful bracelet, 20A. 20B is a stretch bracelet and the stretch is very nice. You have double elastic on both top and bottom, but it's the message that really means, um, it's the messages within, that's what I meant to say. Um, let's see, let's start off right here. There's some enameling. It's silver tone and brass tone. You have a panel that says joy, one says prosperity, family with the tree, share with the heart, love with the cutout heart. You have a, a smaller panel with the enamel swirl design, serenity, and then you have this disc, health, memories, spirituality, and back to joy. So I just thought this was a very, very sweet stretch bracelet. And if I grab the mandrel and place it on here, it actually falls down to seven and a half without um, stretching it. So that is 20B. 20C. This time I have a bunch of gold tone bangles. They all 
Let's see how many. Four, five, nine. There are nine. So let's see what size they are. I should have did this before. Eight and a quarter. So I'll do it very quickly. Um, eight and a quarter. Bear with me. I'm usually more prepared. Okay, this one, eight and a quarter. That seems to be the lucky number. Eight and a quarter. Um, yeah, eight and a quarter. A few more to go. Eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Two more to go. Oops. Yeah, I believe that's the last one. And the last one is eight and a quarter. <laughs> okay, so we have nine gold tone bangles, as you can see. They are all um, different in design. Some are the, let's see, are there any of the same? Yeah, these two look the same. These three look the same. Maybe the four look the same. I think these four look the same. You heard the train? Okay, so we have these four that are the same. Then you have a polished one. Then you have this one that's... Um, yeah, these two look similar. And then you have two wider ones. So you get nine all together, all eight and a quarter. That is 20C. 20Ds, all stretch bracelets, all faux pearls. All fun. You can wear them all together. You have two that look like that. You have one that has like a white seed bead in between. And you have this multiple one. I guess you can uh, tuck that in or trim that um, cluster. So you get four stretch bracelets, faux pearl bracelets, 20D. 20E, you get a memory wire bracelet in like um, bronze tone browns oh wait it has glass bicones in like a what color is that it's like a garnet color and um th this is a memory wire and then you also get this one here which is a bronze tone as well and then it also consists of these paper uh beads in a bicone shape and this one here is made by that company um Oh, getting there. Made in Uganda, Beats for Life, I think it was called. Uh, bead, bead of life, bead for life, yeah. So you get these two, and this one is also a memory wire. You get these two, and that will be 20E. The last one, 20F, you get three stretch bracelets. This one here, nice, cloudy, um, opaque. Oh, no, that's transparent. And it has these um, fancy rondelles and a faux pearl. So you get that. And then you get this one here, which is really fun. Like an opalescent AB coated flower with white, um, silver, clear. What is that? Seed beads. So that looks kind of cute together, right? I thought. And then you get this one here. Th this is glass. Beautiful glass beads. Stretch is excellent. This looks to be brand new. You get these three. And that's 20F. Okay. <sighs> Let's uh, see what else. The last piece I want to offer to you in part two is this very popular bracelet it is an elastic bracelet made up of eight panels it is signed on the back carolynforsman.com and um, there are I believe double elastic on top and bottom as you can see the construction on the back side and let me talk about Carolyn Forsman, first of all. 
she uh, was born in the Bronx here in New York. Uh, she received the Bachelor of Arts from NYU, New York University in 1964. She got her master's um, from Berkeley the following year in 1965. And she served as a librarian and a library educator in California, in Maryland, in Washington, D.C. And um, in 1979, she founded the Carolyn Forsman Conversation Piece Jewelry. And it was known as Bead Weaver for a little while. This is her signature piece. And it is called um, the Band Book Books Bracelet. Uh, it features covers of various banned or challenged books. And this was created in, um, this was made in 2005. So oh, next year it'll be 20 years old. So I guess next year would be, did they say vintage is 20 years? I believe so. And um, she does have other ones as well. But this particular one, I'll go over in a bit. Uh, let me talk a little bit more about Carolyn. She was also an activist, uh, early leader of the group RTSRL, uh, which later became the Social Responsibilities Roundtable, and um, also the Intellectual Freedom Roundtable. So she donated over $150,000 from... I mean, to the group from selling jewelry. So she uh, unfortunately passed at an early age. Well, she was only 69 back in um, January of 2013 here in um, New York City. So this bracelet, if you Google it, you will see it. It's all over the map. On eBay, sellers are asking between 210 and 225 But then on other sites, like book sites, they're asking 15 to $25. So always do your research. Don't pay more than you have to. Um, just a little advice. So now let's go over what this uh, bracelet consists of. These are the books in question, the Pocket Poet series, Howl, and other poems by Allen Ginsberg, um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Adventures of Huckleberry, Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, the Color Purple by Alice Walker. Go ask Alice. It's a real diary. And I believe it was by um, Beatrice Sparks. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Fam uh, famously made into a movie with Gregory Peck. Annie on My Mind. Nancy Garden. I think that's what it says. Harden. Garden? <laughs> uh, that really does look like a G. And then back to this panel. Howl. So, silver tone inside. As you can see, it has the flower um, stamps on the back of each panel. This is in great condition. Let's look at the top. Yeah, not bad. I don't see, you know, copper or discoloration. So we have this one here. I read banned books from the banned booked books signature piece made by Carolyn Forsman. And this here will be number 21. So I hope you enjoyed part two of this Shop Goodwill 17 pound 
mystery jewelry grab bag. I'll be back with part three. There's still some more to go. And um, please comment below. Tell me, did you have any favorites from part two? Um, yeah, comment below. I love to read your comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to subscribe and ring that bell. Choose all notifications. That way you'll be alerted when I post um, part three or any other content. And um, if there's anything that you may be interested in purchasing, all you need to do is email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. Instructions for purchasing are at the end of the video. I always, always, always include them below in the uh, description box. Oh, if anything sells, I'll, I'll make a sold list in the comment section and I'll pin it. That way it's always the first comment that you see. Any questions, just email me. You basically have to um, give me the item number since I'm using the numbering system. And uh, I use PayPal to invoice. And I use pirate ship to ship. Calculated shipping, which means uh, I'll charge you what I pay to ship to you. So, thank you everyone. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.